Okay, guys. I want you to take a look at my craft room and the shape that I have allowed it to get in. This is, I'm standing in the door that goes into the kitchen. That's the door that goes out to the carport. And so here we go. I'm going to give you an overview of what a mess I have allowed my craft room to get in. And today I am officially going to start spring cleaning. And I'm going to start in my craft room. Normally, I'm going to be honest with you, normally I would not start in my craft room. Normally I would start in the living room. Since I say that's the first room that people see, which it ain't, because I let them come in the door at the carport and they see this room first. But I've got baby items in here. I've just... I've just kind of collected and corroded and cluttered and I'm tired of the clutter. I can't clean good because of all the clutter. So I am starting my spring cleaning today. It may take me a week to get this room clean like I want it. But this is where I'm starting. I will show you clips along as I get things done. I can, there's no promise I'll get it done today. Like I said, it may take me a week because I'm constantly having to stop and do other things. My husband will be in from working a little bit. So I'm going to start pulling out like the baby items and setting them in the living room. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with those. I've tried to sell them. I can't seem to sell them. Um, anyway, I'm going to see what I can do with them, but I'm going to start pulling things out of here where I can see what I have, where I can pull out and clean behind and rearrange. I'm going to uh, I'm going to use my, I know I'm probably making you dizzy. I don't know if you can see that blue dust mop right, right there. I'm going to use it to wipe the walls down and get the dust off the walls. I'm going to pull things out and sweep them up under it and rearrange it. And I'm going to try my best to get it done today, but that is no, no promise. But like I said, if I don't, I will show you clips along as I am getting things done. So, I'm going to jump in here and get started. And we'll talk with... Oh! Have I officially let y'all meet my Macy? I don't remember. See Mama's Macy. Her looks a lot like Ringo. The only thing is her white spot here on her face is whiter than Ringo's was. So it makes her eyes look wider apart. This right here is not as dented in as much as Ringo's was. He had like a deep valley right there between his nose. And the white here on her neck, he didn't have that. It, his white stopped right at the back of his head, and then he was black on down. But that's my Macy. She's a girl. She's my sweet baby girl. Yeah. Her mama, sweet baby girl. Yes, her is. And she is so loving, guys. Now, Ringo was loving, and he was my baby, and he was my first baby, and it was horrible losing him. But Ringo was kind of standoffish. Uh, he didn't want you messing with him unless he was ready for it. And But the thing about Macy, she's like that too. The only thing is she's always ready for it. <laughs> she likes to sit in your lap. She likes to snuggle. I would have a hard time getting Ringo to let me even hug him or pet him or touch him. It wasn't that he didn't love us or didn't trust us or anything. He was just more of a leave me alone type dog. But she is a a cuddly uh, sweet. It don't make me love her any more than I did Ringo because like I said Ringo was my first baby. But um, she's just sweet. She likes, she loves to cuddle 
and I love that. I love to be able to sit in my uh, recliner and her get up there with me and cuddle in my lap. Ringo, a lot of times, wouldn't even get up on the chair with me. He just, I would have to just pick him up and make him get up there. And then he just wanted to lay down between my feet and on the uh, footrest of the recliner and don't mess with him. Let him rest. Let him sleep is the way he was. Which that was fine. That was his nature. That's the way he liked to do it. And I was fine with it. But I also love the fact that she's cuddly. Alright guys. I'm going to turn this camera off. And I'm going to get in here and get started. I will talk with you later. Alright guys. This is where we at so far. That one corner there. From the door that way and all the way to that shelf there the wall has been dusted the windows has been wiped down I still got to clean the window itself uh, the floor has been swept everything first everything was moved out the floor has been swept and mopped in that corner and now I'm trying to decide how I want it <clears throat> so I'm gonna see if I can get hubby to help me push this shelf down this way some and see what we can do here. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I am so totally excited that I don't know what to do with myself. I am seriously excited because I finished my craft room. It is completely done completely done and you may look at it through this camera and think what did you do <laughs> if you only knew I dusted down walls with that dust mop I cleaned the ceiling fan I pulled everything out and swept and mop behind it and rearranged and I love it all right I'm standing at the kitchen door this here is pretty much the same except for I set this section on top of this section. And now I've got all of my little plastic containers, little small ones on top of those two stackables. So that's the only place I have the plastic drawers is right there. Now my desk is a bigger more functional workplace I feel um, I did have the plastic table over here and I had the drawers the wood drawers um, they're like Ikea they actually come from Michaels and Hobby Lobby I had them lined up and down the wall over here and I had this top on it over there and Oh, you'll just have to go back to the beginning of the video and look at it more closely and see how I had it arranged. But what I did was I put four sets of drawers right here. The ones that are in the back, I turned them where when I got stuff out, it would come out of the middle here. And these are sets of drawers that I hardly ever use the stuff in them. Like in the red... Um, thing right there that has like my mixed media stuff that I hardly ever pull out uh, those drawers down there has like my refill refilling uh, uh, what does it have in it no that's my sewing drawers that has like my actual like if he's going to sew material has all my sewing supplies in it that I hardly ever use so that's back there this here has my um albums in that I only take out when I need to put a, a page in there uh, which is not all, very often as y'all know I hadn't been doing a lot of scrapbooking so I put it where I could get to it but it's not just right out here at front so then I bumped these two drawers up against those this has my scrapbook paper, which makes it a whole lot easier for me to get to when I'm sitting here working. That it has a set of drawers down at the bottom of each one. 
I love it. I love it. I totally love it. Okay, on top, uh, I was able to expand my workspace because of the fact that I was able to push my computer computer further over because of this here. It's kind of like it's hanging off, although it has CDs under it, story CDs that I listen to very seldom. So I just stuck it up under there to help prop up the computer. Um, then this little drop-down place here can hold my ATG and my notepad and thing. And then I have this little work area here. And because I've moved that stuff off of here, I have this whole top here to work with. Love it. Uh, I re re rearranged the things on my shelf to make it look nicer and more functional for me. I moved the things that I don't use very often down this way and the things that I need more at my fingertips I put here, which I already, you know, I just left my planner sticker books right there. I had them there and I wanted them there at my fingertips. I see I'm probably going to have to move my lamp over a tad, which is no problem. I'll just put it where... That way I can get my books out. Okay. All right. This corner stayed what it was already. It's like my broom closet type corner. My broom corner, broom, mop, my tripod, my ironing board. All of that's there in that corner. And my lamp. And it's just the floor down there. I put the blanket back under there for my babies. And I got the garbage can right there, but I'm thinking, uh oh baby, I'm thinking I'm going to slide it right up under here, where to be there for me. Okay, then I will push my chair in right here, if I can get it to go, and it's kind of in that little cubby area. Uh... I left my carousel there now like I told you I had the four drawers over here with that top on top of them that tabletop on top of them which is I think it came from Michaels also um, and then I had a set of the these drawers here was turned facing in this way and I had my and I can't remember what that's called but my organ my embellishment organizer I had it on top of there which looked ugly which was in the way which just caused trouble <laughs> so I moved my printer to the top of this set of drawers and my con uh, iris containers I'm keeping right there but I was able to put my embellishment rack right in there and this table probably won't be used as a work table it's more of a storage type table unless one of my granddaughters comes along then I can move this here is my diamond painting sorry about the noise outside guys this is the way it is with my videos my husband is weed eating right outside my window sorry about that but that's my diamond painting when I work on my diamond painting I will move it to over here because I like to do it at my desk where I can watch videos while I'm doing it. And then when I'm not working on it, I'll put it here. But if my granddaughters come, we will have to move this stuff, which is my vacuum cleaner. My stroller, which I wished I could sell. Uh, we'd have to move it to over there while they were working. And I could move my diamond painting and put it up here. And they could, would have a little bit of space there to work at. So... Uh, and then I just cleaned that off up there um, because I don't have all of that chicken boxes up under there. I had this shelf turned this way and those boxes were just stacked up between the shelf and the dryer. Almost as tall as the shelf there. I had them stacked up so that brought it out more, took up more space. Uh, all of that was there at those places before, but just, I'm hoping I'm explaining it to you well, 
where you can understand it, but I totally love it. Now, this area, I just cleaned it. I didn't naturally, couldn't change none of it. That's my dryer right there, my washer right there, my hot water heater, and then that shelf. I didn't change anything on it. I just dusted it off and cleaned it. Um, I just left it like it was. But this area, oh my goodness, guys, I love it. It looks so much bigger, feels bigger, feels more functional. I just love it. It just, it turned out great. The, the main thing is I have one room down and, let's see, one, two, three, four more rooms to go to have all of my spring cleaning done and that is awesome that makes me feel so good to feel like i have accomplished something and i was really dreading this room because it is the most cluttered room or most filled it has the most stuff the most little bitty things that you got to pull out and dust and clean under and around and you know just i was really dreading this room so i got this room down now, the next room that I dread from this one is my bedroom. I'm probably, probably <laughs> going to do my best to tackle that one next. Because the closet's got to be got everything pulled out and cleaned and, and gone through. I am decluttering as I'm going. <clears throat> you may look at this room and say you didn't do any decluttering. I didn't do a lot, I'll be honest. Uh, when you're a crafter... And you see potential for crafting in everything you get. Junk mail, everything you get, you see potential for crafting, and it's hard to get rid of it. I do have a few little uh, odds and ends that's on the kitchen table, like a few scrapbook papers and a uh, couple of kits and things like that that I've got to see if I can poke into my uh, paper bins here that I just had stuck behind things i've got to see if i can get them poked in there and where they'll look nice and neat because i don't want to get rid of them i want to use them but guys i don't plan on buying anything else for a while i know and i hadn't really except for i had su uh, subscribed to a scrapbook kit again the scrapbooking room the scrapbooking store kit it was their least their smallest kit well, I'm even going to unsubscribe from it because I just don't have any more room. I have got to use what I got. The only thing is I don't hardly ever get rid of what I make. So I'm just, switch, I'm just switching it from being in packages to putting it to pages and then putting it in books. And I'm still needing room to, to store it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. <sighs> but anyway maybe one day i'll get this figured out but i love it the way it is i wanted to share it with you i am very excited about the way it looks it just feels cozy it feels functional i haven't been able you know naturally i've been cleaning i haven't been able to sit down and actually use it yet but i just feel like it's going to be awesome guys i know it still looks cluttered because of all the stuff i have and i don't want to get rid of but anyway now it won't look this neat when I get started crafting because naturally I'm gonna pull out things and I'm gonna want them at my fingertips and my desk is gonna be full of work stuff that I'm working on so but that's just part of crafting didn't it <laughs> all right I know this video is long and I'm sorry but I wanted to share it with you and I was so excited that I did get it done today and so I'm going to get off of here and see if I can get it uploaded. And I will talk with y'all later.